Since you're selling digital products, I definitely recommend setting up PayPal. Lots of technical people use their PayPal account as fun money to spend on whatever they want. That means it's easier to get people to pay with their PayPal accounts than a traditional credit card. I've heard from some store owners of digital products that PayPal makes up 50% of their transactions and they don't want to test going without PayPal because they could lose a lot of revenue. There are some downsides to PayPal, like they tend to favor the consumer. So they make it really easy to get a refund through PayPal, which penalizes the store owner. So if you do get a lot of refunds, then you may want to reconsider. But that is something to figure out down the line. I definitely recommend every store owner give it a try to start. Let's go to our admin to set this up. We'll go to Downloads, Settings, Payment Gateways, and then we'll turn on PayPal Standard. And now let's go to PayPal Standard to configure it. What's so great about PayPal is that so many people already have an account, and you most likely have an account and you can use that same account for your online store. You don't have to create a business account or anything like that. The second best thing is that you only need your PayPal email address to get this to work. So I'll go ahead and enter my PayPal email address. And without entering any other data, let's save this and go to the front end. We're gonna do one quick thing we're going to turn off test payment and test mode. Oh, it looks like I need to set the default gateway to PayPal standard, which was done automatically once I disabled test payment. Now let's go to the front end. I'll actually go to one of my downloads and I'll add this to my cart. Let's go to checkout. Now we're going to click purchase and now it's taking us to PayPal to log in and pay. This is exactly the same as any other PayPal transaction. In just five minutes, our store is now ready to accept charges from PayPal. Let's close this and configure a few more things to make this experience a little bit nicer. If you want to make the PayPal experience itself a little bit nicer, you can actually customize what your PayPal page looks like. So if we scroll down, we can see that you can add certain colors and logos, background colors, and a few more things. When you finish creating a style, there will be a name. And then you have to take that name, we'll go back to our admin, The first setting I want to look at is this Disable PayPal IPN Verification. This is useful if your orders aren't completing because there could be an issue with how PayPal sends notifications to your site. If you are getting some orders that aren't completing on your site, but they are completing in PayPal, that means there's a disconnect between the two and you can follow this FAQ to fix it. Or, in the interim, you can turn this on, which will use a slightly less secure version of notifications, but it will mark your orders as complete. Most stores won't need to worry about this. The next settings are all about getting API keys for PayPal. These let you do a few more things with PayPal, like refunding someone from within the order screen in EDD. Without API keys, you have to refund the order in EDD and then refund the actual payment itself within PayPal. This isn't crucial to getting started, so I recommend waiting to do this once you get your first refund. The EDD team has a nice tutorial showing you exactly where you can grab your API keys. I'm a big fan of getting your store up and running first, rather than getting every single detail correct before launch. 
So go ahead and launch with a bare minimum and then add stuff as you go.